Hey guys, what's going on? Insidious Swede back again here for another YouTube video and welcome to an updated graphic novel collection video. It's been about 10 months since I made my last one and generally I like to have my collection videos about a year apart. Uh, however, I got a few comments saying they wanted to see an updated version from me, so uh, here I am, I guess, pleasing the masses, so hopefully you enjoy. I hope you have a lot of fun watching this video. I'll be honest, I still do have a pretty decent backlog of trades and graphic novels I need to read, so I can't speak to everything I have in my collection currently. Uh, however, I still hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. All right guys, so here is the shelf. And uh, as you're gonna see in a second, down here we are out of space, so I definitely need to get another one soon. Hopefully we can fit it in here, but uh, starting off up top, uh, first book we have here is the Batman Noir Hush. Uh, I've, I loved Hush, it was a fantastic read. This is of course the Noir edition, so that means it's just the Jim Lee pencils, and I do wanna get a full color version of this, but Great read, definitely worth owning. Uh, next up are the first two Green Lanterns by Jeff Johns omnibuses. I'll be honest, I started reading volume one and I kind of felt a little bit lost. I don't know any of the Green Lantern characters except for Hal Jordan. And um, that kind of put me off a little bit. It's not, my, it's not their fault, it's my fault. I don't know anything about Green Lantern, but I'm a huge Jeff Johns fan, so I definitely want to get back into these two. Uh, next up is the I Zombie Omnibus. Really great read. Uh, surprised how much I actually enjoyed it, and Michael Allred's art is gorgeous. So uh, definitely worth checking out. Uh, the Animal Man Omnibus by Grant Morrison. Pretty good read. Um, even after finishing it, though, I can't say I'm a huge fan of Animal Man, but uh, some very good writing in here and definitely really enjoyable. Uh, this is the Swamp Thing by Scott Snyder Deluxe Edition. Uh, can't say this is Snyder's best work, but Yannick Paquette's artwork is gorgeous. Um, would love to see him do some more uh, Swamp Thing. I think his drawing of the character is fantastic. Um, and then I think a, a staple for any graphic novel collection, The Killing Joke. Uh, Wolverine by Mark Miller. Um, Old Man Logan storyline in here, fantastic stuff. Uh, Deadpool, the, the minibus. And uh, yeah, this was really good. Um, I'm not a diehard Deadpool fan, but I still found this very enjoyable. Um, and I love this one. This is the three-in-one book by uh, Loeb and Sale. Of course, Yellow Daredevil, Blue Spider-Man, and Grey Hulk. Um, hopefully, we can see a four-in-one now with the uh, Captain America White, but uh, all three of these stories were fantastic. Um, the Spider-Verse book, Deadpool. This is uh, the first volume of the Marvel Now Deadpool I uh, don't know if I'm going to get any more of this run, but the first volume was pretty good. And then Death of Wolverine at the end here. All right, next shelf, we have the first three hardcovers for Daredevil by Mark Wade. The first volume was, was pretty good, um, but the second volume was fantastic. And I haven't read the third one yet, but uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying Mark Wade's Daredevil. Um, next up is the two, uh, the first two all-new X-Men oversized hardcovers. Um, these are still also in the shrink wrap, just like Volume 3 of Daredevil, um, because I have read most of this run in single issues, but I uh, definitely am going to go back to this one. It was a pretty good run on X-Men, um, some of the best stuff I've read um, on, uh, on X-Men and from Bendis as well. Uh, next up is Warren Ellis's Ocean Orbiter. This is a, a, a two-book uh, series, um, and, and one that I liked I didn't love, though, I'll be honest. Uh, Scalped 1 to 3. I'm almost through the first book of Scalped, and I can't say that I have loved it yet, but I'm holding out high hopes. Um, and it's only going to be four um, hard hardcovers, so I definitely want to enjoy it and then pick up that last one. Uh, Sweet Tooth uh, 1 and 2, a book I need to get on soon. Hopefully, I, I can uh, do it over the next couple of weeks. And then Brian Wood's DMZ. Uh, so far, it's been fantastic. I've been loving everything Brian Wood's been doing with this. Um, and then Starve, also a fantastic book that just ended. But uh, yeah, DMZ, really good title. Uh, East of West by Jonathan Hickman. And then Aphrodite 9 by uh, Matt Hawkins, who's one of my favorite writers out there with, of course, this. Uh, Postal, Symmetry, The Tithe. Just an amazing writer. And uh, uh, definitely a book worth checking out if you're a fan of Hawkins. 
uh, Nailbiter the Murdered Edition. Uh, Nailbiter is one of my favorite ongoing comics right now, Joshua Williamson. Uh, the way he tells stories, the way he builds worlds and, and creates characters is such a fantastic uh, thing to experience. And uh, Nailbiter is definitely his best work to date, but uh, there's going to be another one in this video that's also pretty good. Uh, and Wayward, a very underrated title by Image. Uh, Jim Zub, great writer, but Ben Cummings on the art, a beautiful book to look at. Um, it's based in Japan, and some of the art in there in the scenery blows me away every time I see it. Um, I'm sure there's other videos on it. Just check out the artwork, guys. It's a fantastic book. And then to end off the shelf, we have Nameless by Grant Morrison. All right, down here, of course, we have the deluxe edition for Saga. Fantastic book. I'm sure we all know that by now. Uh, the first four hardcovers for Chu. I've only read the first one and I've kind of held off, but I definitely want to get um, into more of it. It's been fantastic so far. Hilarious book um, with beautiful artwork. Uh, Lazarus um, and then Casanova. Can't say I loved Casanova, I'll be honest. Uh, the first two volumes for Revival. Need to pick up the next one. I don't know if number four is out either, but um, I'll definitely check out, check out that one pretty soon. Uh, the Walking Dead, one to three. Need to get more Walking Dead, of course. Uh, Rat Queens. Peter Panzerfaust, and then the first two hardcovers for TMNT. This is the IDW collection release. And um, first book, I'm still reading through it. It's been good, um, but I'm not a huge TMNT fan, so that's probably hindering my enjoyment, but I still think it's been very solid. Uh, High Crimes by Ibrahim Mustafa, who's one of my favorite up-and-coming writers. Um, amazing release here. Um, definitely check this one out if you can, guys. Uh, it was a webcomic, and uh, luckily Dark Horse picked it up, gave it this beautiful hardcover release. Great book to own. And uh, I can definitely see Ibrahim on a, on a DC or, or Marvel book in his future. He's such an amazing writer. Uh, Southern Bastards, I'm sure you've read this one. It's fantastic. Uh, Lantern City Volume 1. It's only going to be a two-volume series, so uh, waiting for that last volume to come out. Avengers Rage of Ultron. And then, th and then this right here is the uh, first oversized um, or special edition, whatever it's called, for the Master Race Book 1. Uh, need to get more of those. Uh, really enjoyed that first issue. Uh, Samurai, The Heart of the Prophet. Uh, I did a graphic novel review for this one. If you guys want to go check that out on my channel, uh, hopefully you like it. I think it's a great book here. Uh, beautiful artwork, a great series. Uh, next um, two books up are for Thor. The first one is The Goddess of Thunder, and the next one is Who Holds the Hammer. Uh, great writing by Jason Aaron. Great Thor story. Really been enjoying it. Not only this run, but the one that's going on right now. Uh, the uh, entire Superman Earth 1 run. Great series, uh, especially the first two volumes. And then Batman Earth 1, which I still haven't read that one yet, but also holding out high hopes for that. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight, great read. I can't remember if there's a second volume out. I'm pretty sure there is, so I'm going to have to check that one out pretty soon. Uh, Spider-Man, Brand New Day, Flashpoint, and then uh, the entire Aquaman uh, series. Actually, I'm missing Volume 7, though I don't know that's out yet. And um, I'll be honest, most of Aquaman is brilliant. The Trench, The Others, fantastic, and then also Death of a King, which uh, concludes Jeff John's run on Aquaman. Fantastic book. Male Storm and, and Sea of, of Storms is, is okay, I'll be honest. It wasn't fantastic. Um, definitely stick to the Jeff John stuff, but overall a very strong run on the, uh, the new 52 Aquaman. Uh, Superman 1 and 2, Batgirl Volume 1, and then uh, Batman 1 to 8. Uh, personally, I almost loved every single moment of Batman. Uh, my favorite would probably be Zero Year. Probably not a popular opinion, but I just love this this run. I don't know why it was just everything about it was fantastic, and of course the Court of Owls was also brilliant as well. Um, and then of course Endgame and uh, Super Heavy, kind of uh, not not the strongest stuff, but still pretty good. Overall, though, Batman was just an amazing uh, an amazing book to read throughout the New Fifty Two. Uh, next up is Joker by Brian Azzarello, one of the best covers I've ever seen on a graphic novel right there. Uh, Batman Europa, uh, Scott Snyder's The Quake. The first half of this book was brilliant, I loved it, but the second half not so much. Uh, Uber, no, not the service, <laughs> um, but uh, a decent book by Kieran Gillian. I'll, uh, I'll definitely have to see if I can get the second hardcover to that. And then BPRD, uh, Plague of Frogs, book one there. All right, guys, sorry for that cut right there. My camera literally just died, so I apologize. But getting back into it, the final shelf 
Uh, first up, we have Lock and Key 1 to 3. I uh, cannot believe I still haven't read it yet, even though I've had it for so long, but I do want to get into it because I've heard fantastic things about the title. Uh, American Vampire 1 and 2. Uh, the complete run of Batman Eternal. And uh, really enjoyed this one, the weekly series when it was coming out. Um, however, I think reading it in trade definitely was the better way to get into the series. Um, Batman Night of the Owls. Uh, and this is, of course, a book so high on my to-read list. Alan Moore's Swamp Thing. I've heard nothing but incredible things about this this title. I cannot wait to get into it. Um, Swamp Thing has been a character I've really tried to get into recently. I've been reading a lot of Swamp Thing. And uh, I'll put that one in later. But uh, yeah, I just cannot wait to get into it. Uh, next up is the epic collection for Wolverine. Uh, this covers the very beginning of his first ever ongoing series. And uh, a book I'm very happy to see printed. Uh, Miles Morales, the ultimate uh, Spider-Man. Love Miles Morales. I think he's a fantastic addition to the Marvel Universe. And just um, this was a very good series. I really enjoyed it. Death of Wolverine, the Logan Legacy. Uh, this covers some of that aftermath stuff of the uh, the main miniseries. Uh, Runaways, Nova 1 through 4. Alex plus Ada. This uh, is actually a three-volume series, but I already own the entire um, run and trade or uh, in single issue, so I haven't got those. And then Birthright 1 and 2, of course. This is what I was talking about for Joshua Williamson. Such an amazing writer. This is also an amazing series. Worth checking out for sure. Hopefully we see some form of uh, hardcover for it. I don't know if we will, though. It seems to have a little less popularity than Nailbiter. And then Black Science 1 and 2. Another book with a, a, an amazing hardcover. Uh, really want to get that one soon. Copperhead Volume 1. Enjoyed the first, um, uh, first trade. I read it in singles, though. Um, don't know what happened to it, if it's an ongoing or what, but uh, it was very good. Uh, Criminal 1 and 2, Cowl, uh, Deadly Class, another book I cannot wait to get into. The um, the stuff I've heard about it is fantastic, so very much also high on my to-read list. And then E goes down here. I do have a few more trades, as you can see, we're not ending on E, um, but those are in a separate area, so I'll get to those in a second. Firstly, though, I want to show off my Absolute Editions. Of course, we have Absolute Green Arrow by Kevin Smith. Um, this is the first real thing I've read with Green Arrow in it, and it was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. Uh, so glad I decided to get that um, Absolute Edition worth owning for sure. And then I also got Absolute Why the Last Man. Now, uh, this was a book originally I wasn't going to get, but after seeing some unboxings for it and knowing how much I love this run from, from Brian K. Vaughn, I, I had to, to splurge and get it. Um, such a fantastic book. Um, this is probably my top three favorite series with Saga and Postal. Um, just such an amazing um, work, of, um, work of art here, and um, ho hopefully I can get the second one pretty soon. Um, and, and lastly on the shelf is the first volume of The Sixth Gun, another book that I've been meaning to get into, and this thing right here is a beast, and I mean beast, because look at this. Um, I've actually lined those together. It's that much bigger than Absolute Editions. I'll pull it out even for you. It's uh, an insane book, if I can pull it out. I don't know if I can. All right, there it is. Look at this thing. It's absolutely massive. But uh, yeah, definitely a series I've heard fantastic things about. And uh, just a book I'm happy to own, even though it's maybe a little bit uh, too big. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for um, this main shelf, guys. I do have a few more trades to get to. So I'm going to make one last final cut, and we'll get into that. All right, so here we are, the final stack of trades that I have. Um, starting off, we have The Fade Out by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Ghosted also by uh, Joshua Williamson there. Great Pacific. Hell yeah. Hinterkind, which honestly wasn't that great. Letter 44, Volume 1. Low by Rick Remender. Great first volume. Definitely want to get more of Low. Uh, Manhattan Projects. Manifest Destiny, Volume 1, I really enjoyed this one, very high hopes for it. Uh, volume 2, not so much, honestly, it was kind of a, a letdown if I'm going to be completely honest, but Volume 3 picked it back up, and so far, after coming off the hiatus, um, it's also been a very strong read, so uh, definitely check out Manifest Destiny if you can. The Massive, uh, more nail biter. these are my trades for it, and there's three. Northlanders by Brian Wood. I'm looking forward to the reprints for Northlanders. Cannot wait to read that series. Outcast, of course, we all know about Outcast by now. Um, one and two. 
and then Postal, which um, as some of you guys may know, um, Postal is my favorite uh, graphic novel ever. Um, I have a uh, review up for it if you want to see it, but honestly, it's one of those books you kind of just need to read for yourself. Uh, so much in this book, it goes um, unspoken that it's really hard to talk about it. Uh, Matt Hawkins does this, and trust me, guys, it, it's worth a read. Uh, just such an amazing experience. I've gotten a lot of people to get into it, but I feel like um, there's so many more people out there that haven't read this one yet that if they just gave it a chance... I would know they would enjoy it. It's my favorite comic of all time and um, just one that I want to see do well. And I also have the second trade forward, of course. And then also my Saga trades here. Um, not much to talk about Saga. Obviously, we all love it. Um, and uh, I'm going to keep buying the trades, but uh, I'm also looking forward again to those deluxe editions, which are beautiful. Uh, the Wicked plus the Divine. The Woods, book one and book two, pretty good series, not amazing, but um, definitely a, a, a book worth reading. Uh, Tinian does this, and I think he's a, he's a great writer. And uh, the final thing is Witches. So that is going to do it for the collection, guys. I'll go through it one more time. There's the bottom shelf. Uh, here's the uh, next shelf with uh, Joker in the way. But uh, yeah, there you go. And all the way up top so that is everything that i own guys so hopefully you enjoyed um if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below but anyways guys until next time i'm insidious sweet and take care